Bonjour, ladies and gentlemen. Handmox here. Unboxing Betrayer. I have no idea what I'm going to use for a word thing for this series, but like always, just going to play through a random game at random times. <clears throat> and uh, see what all these games are about. Now, from what I can tell for this game, this is like an old... Like, the setting is an old colonized America, like when we were starting to colonize, but it adds horror elements and uh, you know, as you can see on the screen, this creepy lady, uh, stealth action combat that's first person survival sort of, there's not a lot of eating involved, it's just survive from the enemies, and you're fighting against Spanish conquistadors, uh, but they're kind of dem demonized or something. So we're gonna just get right into the, th to the th thick of things. <clears throat> I figured I, I might as well just show you guys all the, the people who've made this game at the very least. Now, you may be noticing, it's black and white. That is the point of the game. Oh, there are other ships here. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, it is black and white in this game. It may hurt your eyes a little bit. It is hurting my eyes just a tad, but I think I will be able to live with it at the moment. It does look very interesting. I got a longbow arrow. I can melee this chest, and I can open it. Got 23 coins. Can I open these barrels? No, I cannot. So I can bust open the boxes. I got a musket load. But I cannot bust open anything else. I have to open. I, I always press E to open for some reason. I'm a weirdo. Well, I mean... Stop laughing at me. Okay. Can I swap weapons? I have an inventory. I swear I pick up, picked up a longbow. Ah, whatever. Okay. So the goal of this game. What is the goal of this game? What is the goal of being a Spanish conquistador killer? Well, uh, I've yet to figure it out. There is something weird going on in this island. The game is about this uh, old colony that just one day everybody was there and then one the next they were just gone. A lot of people think a bunch of uh, uh, natives to the land came and just completely wrecked them and left no trace of their existence. Not even blood was left behind. So, yeah. Ah, the old lady appearing from nowhere trick. I see how it is. I mean, I, I can see you there, ma'am, but regardless, you sent me a message through an arrow. I do not... <clears throat> I gotta pull out the female voice. I do not know who you are or why you've come here, but you should turn back lest you become trapped in this place as I am. Well, thanks, madam. But screw it. <laughs> Alright, let's continue on. So there's enemies in this game. I wish... I thought I had a longbow, but I guess I don't. I, at least I thought I started with one. Maybe this is the chest that has it. Now, the, the thing that I like about this game is the stealth is very, um very into it like to the point where the wind blows and your footsteps are masked and when the wind blows you can practically run at full speed up at behind an enemy there's a shiny thing in the distance it's kind of a black it's a white box that is really weird dear sir or madam i have come into possession of a fine number of fine items of exceptional quality and indisputable value as a token of my good faith i offer you a free bow in hopes that you may survive long enough to become a regular customer arrows will be free free for a limited time as well be aware that they may sometimes deflect from armored enemies so be sure to carry plenty and recover them when you can i will put my trust in your honor to leave payment for whatsoever else you choose to purchase respectfully john howe merchant well thank you sir all right so alas i cannot carry that many things but oh this is really cool oh i like it all right so my bow is tinted red no it's just slightly red well that is what tinted red is gosh darn it ah oh, you're blindingly because your well-being is important to me, both physically and sentimentally, I feel I should advise you that enemies are easiest to slay if you can catch them unaware, for their rage makes them stronger. Shots to the head will also inflict more grievous injury to those than those to the trunk or limbs. Please rely on me whenever you find yourself in need of deadlier implements of warfare. Cordially, John Howe. I don't know how far I can get on this game, so I might as well just kind of uh, skip through the uh, un oh, oh, the boring parts, I guess you could say. 
So I want to test out stealth here. And I also want to test out how accurate these arrows are. Like, are they right on the crosshair accurate or what? Uh, they are. I hit you in the head, sir. Huh, that was weird. I, I headshot him. That was multiple headshots. All right. Crude pistol. Huh. I have pistols as well. Ah, that's interesting. They might have been nice to me and given me one. Okay, I did shoot. Okay, I got my ammo back. Okay, I got all the treasure chests in this area. All right, time to move on. Another note. It's blindingly... Bl whatever that white text box is. It's really weird. The weapons you recover from slain adversaries are generally of poor quality, being both feebler and more cumbersome to employ than you may desire. The weapons I offer are guaranteed to do more harm and do it faster. John Howe, merchant. Oh, I love you, John. And here we have a map of our area. It was Fort Henry. Uh, but alas, the name of the actual fort, based on the, the, the story, uh, was completely different. Okay, for a second there, I thought the game crashed. Oh, I got a tomahawk. It was remiss of me not to mention that enemies are more likely to discover you while you are moving. Crouching makes you significantly harder to detect and allows you to move quietly. Use the wind to your advantage. Gust will make mask your footsteps, making it easier to run up, be run up behind your foes without alerting them. John Howe, Merchant. Ah, so I can toggle it. I would prefer to toggle. There's a gentleman over there. I'm assuming that grass mar grass masks my footsteps. Melee kill. Boom. Ah, feels good. Oh, the blood even splatters. That's pretty cool. Okay. It's very loud out here. Oh yeah, I should mention this is also partially a horror game. So keep that in mind. It's not like 100%. It does get scary at some parts, but it is mm, pretty scary. <laughs> All right, I have seen a little bit of the start of this game, so I will rush through it, so I'm not wasting a lot of time. Several uh, among the council are wary of treating with the naturals, but I believe I have convinced them of the necessity, for we cannot s assume that Sir Christopher will outfit a resupply fleet with sufficient urgency to ensure it reaches us from England before we have no more need of it. We will starve before spring without succor. Ah, so they were about to die. Well, hello. There are arrows being shot up in here. This is pretty creepy. Gonna pick up a couple of these arrows. Indian arrows that were most likely intended for the head of a sentry. Okay. Ah, another John Howe barrel. My dear sir or madam, I hope that the bow I gave you has been of reasonable service, but I would encourage you to consider some of my finer wares. I accept coin or barter as you see fit. Please check back from time to time to see what new items I may have acquired. Cordially, John Howe, merchant. All right, well, time to figure out what stuff is going on. Drinking from the barrel will restore your health and refill your water skin if you have one. All right. Small trowel well suited to making breaking up hard soil. Okay. We have many things. Okay. Something appears to be buried here, but the soil is so rocky that it will take more than a trowel to dig up. Well, why did you give me a trowel? Gosh darn. This is very spoopy in here. Don't know if I'm ready for it. The Indian king, whom they all call they call a wero wants was much pleased by our gifts of tools and trinkets, and gave us in return an abundance of corn and bear meat, which is an excellent, excellent victual. Okay. There's a dead man. Though the figure appears human, it is only ash and ember. Well, you're dead now. Okay. 
What are you? But a mere man. Crude charm of celerity. Solidarity. Okay, well, I, I reload faster. At least that's good. Okay, that's another stuff that I can't get. Got a bell here. An ornate bell. It appears to be good in condition and would could probably be remounted where it hung. I did not want to do that. Thank you. Can't carry more of this ammo typing. Don't I need this? I guess not. Oh, hello. The Lord Governor has determined that we cannot spare any men to send to Fort Henry, for we are harried by constantly by the Naturals, who have recently gone more hostile towards us for unknown reasons. Okay, so a Naturals, I'm assuming they're referring to uh, Indian-esque people. This man is dead. I, I killed him before I could say anything. Ah, there are gravestones out there. I'll check those out after I examine this entire area. You can drink from the... Oh, I got a water scan. Okay, cool. According to our prisoner, the Spaniards seek to destroy the settlement that might be used for privateering against their treasure fleets and will surely come at us again. We need reinforcements if we are to repel further attacks. I see, I see. I still don't understand. As the sole purpose why barrels are undefeatable is because of that, eh, well, that would be silly. More Indian arrows. Either there was a large-scale attack or several smaller skir skirmishes. Skirmashes. I'm gonna get to these gravestones real fast. Reginald Millier, a true gel gentleman. Okay. Looking for any traces of red out in the distance. Do not want to be surprised. There's a lot of stuff over there. It becomes easier to tell when things are what. Because of how brighting, bright and blocky those things are. Okay. Edmund Percy, killed fighting the Spanish. Nathan Lambton, murdered by a Spaniard. Edward Barnes, age six, a sweet and gentle son, died of sickness. Here lies Mary Barnes, age 24, loving wife and mother, died of sickness. Oh, I found, uh, I'm finding achievements. Matthew Helliart, ship's boy, age 12, found dead along the path. Something killed them. Thirty coins. Okay. Time to go back. Unless there's any more blinding lights that need me to go and see them. Alright, well I have the bell, I might as well put that on. I know that... It's that flag that's making the noise. I know that there's a demon thing that happens and I'm... Ill-prepared. Alright, let's do it. Here comes death. Okay. Well, I know there's a shovel around here. Dug up what appears to be a human eyeball, though it feels more like a stone. It is strangely heavy and warm in your hand. It seems that you can see things you couldn't see before. Well, I'm looking for a shovel. Alrighty. Dug up a petrified ear. Like the eye you found, it is heavy and warm. It seems you can hear things you couldn't before. There's ghosty goo. There are demonic noises happening, and I'm ill-prepared. Dug up petrified tongue. It is too. Is, it too is heavy and warm. It seems you can now speak to those who couldn't hear you before. So I needed it to talk to that gentleman. I can only assume. He's still blinding. Where is Martha? Who's Martha? My wife. Who are you? I am Captain William Eastgrove. On a hillside we were sitting together. I was holding her hand talking about our son. I shall find her for you if I can. Oh, hello. I hate to interrupt, but who are you talking to? I was speaking to a wraith named William Eastgrove. But I see no one. He appeared in the dark when I rang the bell and vanished when daylight returned. In the dark... You have to excuse me, my voice is like bleh. In the dark? How can that be? The sun has not moved in the sky. Are you certain of what you saw? I couldn't see him until I found this strange eyeball. That is an unsettling discovery and an odd thing to pick up. I personally find the tongue more unsettling. 
You didn't lick the wraith, I hope, though I confess I am suddenly curious when what one must taste like. Who are you? I... I can't remember. I am sure that I lived here, for this place is familiar, but it's like a dream I can't quite recall. Do you remember anything? My sister. I've been searching for her, but I can't remember her name either. Perhaps she is hiding from the Spaniards, for they seem more beasts than men. Spaniards? I have seen no one but you since I awoke in this forest days ago. I assure you there are no Spaniards here, not any more. They seemed real enough. Like the darkness and the wraith. What did he want of you, anyways? He is searching for his wife. I would help you find her, but it isn't hard to track what one cannot see, and I must seek my sister. Please let me know if you see her. We are twins, so she should be easy to recognize. Where shall I find you if I have news to report? Let us meet in this fort for now. I should also like to learn the outcome of your search for the white race white wife. I can't help but worry what's become of her. Farewell. Listening will lead you to areas of interest. You will find different locations in the normal world versus the other world, so be sure to listen to both. I remember we lived here for a time after we arrived. There were so many skirmishes with the naturals in those days, until finally we made peace with them. Do you think those ash, ash figures were the one people who lived here? Which ash figure, figures? Have you not seen the figures of ash that look like people? Are you trying to scare me? That sounds horribly unsettling, but I've seen no such thing. D was it because I killed them? I'm listening. Okay, let's then go out and leave. Hopefully not die. And be scared. Oh, uh, I'm already a wimp. I know it's not too scary of a game, but regardless, it is still very unsettling. Well, I might as well go out to where I see things. I don't think there's much in the way of enemies when I'm in the other part. Oh, God, that... Okay, well... Hey, get out of here. Where are you? Ow. That scared the heck out of me. You suck. I was not expecting stuff like that. I didn't know there were spider demons. Gosh. Okay, well, I guess I am spooky. Spooped. But I must push onward for you guys. Where was that glow coming from? Oh, all the way out here. I might as well pay attention. So if I see in the box in the middle of a road, I can only assume that means death. I hope. In fact, I hope not. Hello. John Scrivener, killed by a Spaniard. Listen. Oh. He saw me. Ow. Shot at me. Alright, well that was simple. I'm also listening on the side. It's over here somewhere. Where's my other arrow? Wait, it marks it, doesn't it? I thought it marked where my arrows dropped. Yep, yeah, right around here. There we go. Okay. That is a good thing. I need every arrow that I can possibly find. Okay, so... Yeah, I gotta be more stealthy than what I've been. Been a little too liberal with my running around. So I do gotta pay more attention. Oh. Wait, it doesn't show me... Oh, it doesn't show me where they all are. Okay. Hello. Mary Barnes and her son, Edwards, are the latest to show signs of sickness. If Ustis Cage cannot find some remedy, this change, this strange contagion may soon claim its 10th and 11th victims. Huh. Something demonic on the road over there. Seems as though I should pick it up. I've yet to die, so that's good. But I'm afraid of scary noises. Explosive! Oh, well, I got bombs. Oh, there's a gentleman over there in the distance. In 
there are even stranger noises happening over here. Uh, alas, it tells me. Dug up a finely made reed flute. Okay. I'm not really paying attention to reading a lot of these things. The remains of a soldier are partly buried in the loose soil. The cause of death is not obvious. Or was it obvious? You, sir, are about to die. There we go. Wow, that was my first one-shot kill aside from that one guy at the beginning. Okay, I'm listening in again. I actually don't hear it. Okay, I don't hear anything. Alright, well I might as well move up the center of the path. Like I faintly hear something. Alright. Time to move on up. What are- Oh, okay, I thought that was an enemy for a second. Okay, I'm going quiet here. I need to speak loud. Okay. Well, I obviously see that, but I want to refill my water skins. And my health. I did not refill my health. Oh, it did. Yeah, I have double water skins, so that's nice to know. This morning, we could not find no- we could find no trace of Tabitha Markley. The sentry saw no one coming or going, nor was there any sign of struggle. Even her sister asleep in the same bed was not roused. It can only be some foul sor sorcery. Hmm. The Dodds Hill destination. How interactively can I climb? I'm uh, not that interactively at all. Listening. Somewhere over there. What are you? That infernal storm spared our ship, but scuttled Captain Harper's common sense, and that that of all who supported him in continuing on after the Rebecca and Splendor returned back to England. We shall all of us pay for the, that folly in disproportionate measure unless we abandon this hopeless venture and sail away from here with all the provision we can gather. Okay, so when, once they got on this island, they couldn't leave for some reason. It's right over there. We're looking for signs of red, still haven't seen a lot. I thought there would be way more enemies. Yeah, it's coming way from over there. Unless it's behind me and my Razor sound control stuff is like, completely messing with me. Would not surprise me if that were the case. What is that? Okay, that's a... Box. Okay, good. Might as well shoot all of them. Did I, did I leave an arrow behind? No, I didn't. Oh, but there are enemies up here in this fort. Oh, there are many enemies. Many indeed. Ow. Ow, he's throwing boulders at me? These things are beasts. I'm almost out of ammo, too. Okay, I killed him. Th 
threw a bomb. Okay. Got him. Ow. Okay, I gotta reload. I'm almost dead. Come at me, fiend. Got him. That was kind of cool how I did the, the twist and turn shot, but alas, I am I'm terrible. Okay. Let's try to get all my arrows that I dumped into the ground. And that I sucked at. Yeah, somehow I dumped all these shots. Oh, there's a demon on the door. Something appears to be buried here, but the soil is so rocky, I don't have a shovel. Okay, let's head up to the demon gate. This gate is shrouded in some manner of corruption and won't open. Okay. Can I look over the demon gate? Alas, I also see nothing. I think that's what I need. I know the spoopy stuff happens when I start doing this. It's shrouded in corruption. Okay, well that's all I wanted to know. Okay, bye. Ah, chest. Common pistol. Alright, I've yet to see... Oh, birds. There's not a lot of enemies on the road. That is suspiciously placed in the middle of nowhere. Why has the Lord Governor ordered us to collect up valuables and shiny trinkets to hide in the woods away from our settlements? What purpose can such measures serve to but to deject a populace already forlorn from hunger sickness and constant harassment by Spanish attacks? Ah. There's another corrupted gentleman. And another chest. 31 coins. Alright, lady. Well, I couldn't find anything for ya. You still helping your Wraith friends? Yes, I am. Alright, I gotta talk to Wraith Man. Hello, demons. Is that you, Wraith Man? I probably have to go out in this demon area. Okay, he still hasn't found him. Alright, guys. Well, I think I'm gonna have to end it here for now. I know I didn't get too far. Can I shoot her? I cannot. Man, she is insane. All right, well, regardless, thank you guys so much for watching. Like if you did, subscribe if you want to see more. Leave a comment down below what you thought of this game. 
I don't think I'm going to play anymore unless you guys wish it to be show. So, au revoir, ladies and gentlemen. Au revoir.